Hello and welcome to another Suntup unboxing, another artist edition. This one being The Auctioneer by Joan Sampson. Um, not the first version of The Auctioneer I've unboxed. The numbered edition came out several months ago. You should go check that out. Beautiful numbered edition with like the wheat straw uh, cover. We have our new foam, very dark, very stiff and sturdy. We have Joan Sampson's bookmark for The Auctioneer, prefaced by Grady Hendrix, introduced by Warren C. Carberg Jr., which is her widow, and illustrations by Dave Christensen. Anyways, this is one of the oldest, uh, number, not numbered, one of the oldest artist editions to be released, like that's still, you know, currently open. Uh, the oldest being 1984, that one's coming down the pipeline as well. I think once 1984 gets released, I think we will then be caught up to the current year for artist editions now that I think about it. Uh, because Neuromancer number edition is coming down the line for that. And then we're in 2021 with Silence of the Lambs. The Exorcist is right around the corner. Um, anyways, Joan Sampson, the auctioneer, featuring... This wonderful wraparound dust jacket. Now, this one does not seem to have the same ding. My, my poor uh, Scanner Darkly one had like a little nick in the cover. Anyways, this is the original artwork by Dave Christensen from the original publication. Very nice. Uh, I was kind of expecting them to release this as a print because this was uh, several months back being last year, maybe it was two years ago at this point, it's all blur, uh, they had released a Zicle print, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, of uh, the original I Am Legend cover, which was quite lovely. Come on, buddy, get off, get off my book. And then they also did a print of the Michael Whalen cover for Fahrenheit 451. So I figured, you know, a, a, a print of this one would have been right up their alley. But anyways... Love the little cow stamped into the boards there. And these, this is a beautifully bound book. Oh my God. This is up there with like, this is like a quality uh, subterranean press numbered edition. And this is just the gift edition. Because I believe it was still a gift edition at this point. Uh, I believe it was right after this that they switched to artist edition. Look at those end papers too. Beautiful. Anyways, I've rambled. So the auctioneer. Illustrations by Dave Christensen. Uh, if you haven't already, like I said, check out the numbered edition video that I did, prefaced by Grady Hendrix, uh, which I believe this is kind of the preface from his Paperbacks of Hell. Um, Afterward by Warren. Oh, introduction. Did yeah, Warren C. Carberg did the introduction uh, as the widow, Joan's widow. Joan belonged at McDonald's. Okay. Um, I still haven't actually read this book. I didn't want to read the numbered edition, but I've heard phenomenal things. Um, this is one of those ones I want to pick up like a cheap paperback copy. I'll probably read this artist gift edition. I'm just flipping through, uh, just because you can never be too careful with any books, really. Not Suntup. Suntup, uh, their books are pretty phenomenal. You know, high, high tier here. I mean, sometimes little accidents happen. It, it's just the nature of the beast, but uh, can never be too careful. So it's signed by Wendell Miner, uh, and it is uh, signed by Dave Christensen as well. So you had Wendell Miner doing illustrations throughout. Uh, Dave Christensen uh, has the dust jacket. Uh, if you are a fan of Dave Christensen sing signatures, uh, this is sold out. But you can probably find it on the secondary market. Uh, this one took forever to sell out, actually. But uh, Dave Christensen did do some very nice Stephen King covers back in the day. Nice little photo of Joan there. Oh, the cover artwork. Sorry, my apologies. The cover artwork is by Wendell Miner. I had it backwards. So this is Wendell Miner. Oh, yeah, there's a signature right down there. Uh, and then the interiors. The interiors must be Dave Christensen. My apologies to you, Dave and Wendell. Nicely, nicely done. Anyways, uh, back to Dave Christensen. He's done some great Stephen King covers over the years. 
Shining, Salem's Lots, and those are available through Suntup as these beautiful high-quality prints through the Covers Collection, which has unf- been going strong for several years now, but is unfortunately coming to an end this upcoming month, May of 2021. Um, but Paul has announced that one, this final cat cover is going to be a big one, likely uh, Michael Whalen. And two, he's going to offer, I don't know why he pointed to this, this is Wendell Miner's work, but uh, he's going to offer a discount code for the existing prints. So you might be able to score some signed, high quality, museum quality, uh, Dave Christensen, Stephen King covers, signed by Christensen himself. Uh, there's a lot of other good ones on there as well, but uh, be sure to check them out at suntup.press. Uh, the auctioneer is sold out through suntup.press, but you can probably find it on the secondary sites. Uh, Dark Regions kind of has copies come and go of various artist editions. And uh, Camelot Books has a lot too. But anyways, that is The Auctioneer by Joan Sampson. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't checked out my channel, I did just unbox the scanner darkly in the previous video, so be sure to check that out. Uh, coming up next, I have some titles coming in from Semi- uh, Centipede Press and then eventually Cemetery Dance as well. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.